Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today is a little different. I don't have an intro. I don't have anything fancy because I'm on a little mini vacation, and it is the aftermath of my 40th birthday, and I did some shopping, and I want to share with you guys what I got. I don't have my camera. This is just my phone, and it's going to be very chilled, lay back. I have my wine. We're still celebrating a little bit. But I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up. It's kind of a haul from a few different places, mostly makeup, a little bit of fragrance, and then also another little special gift I will show at the end. So if you guys want to see what I picked up on my most recent haul, my little birthday haul, then keep on watching because we're about to get into it. So I'm going to start with fragrance because it's been a little while since I actually did some fragrance shopping. I kind of thought I was going to stop because I was like, Barbara, you have enough and like you can't wear all of this, but they do last a lot longer than makeup. And I just, I love smelling good. And lately I've been trying to get into different scents and kind of broaden, expand my palette, my nose buds. So it kind of happened and something else happened that was just like, yeah, you know what? It might be the time for that. I got an email and the brand Dossier, Dossier, I hope I'm saying that right, reached out to me asking if I would be willing to partner with them to talk about their company and the fragrances that they offer. So this is a company that makes their version of luxury brand fragrances at a fraction of the cost. And when I tell you a fraction, I mean a fraction, like I have had my eye on Baccarat Rouge 540 for the longest. Everybody has been talking about it. And I was just like, how much you have to spend for that? Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna do that. You have enough. But the crazy thing is I didn't live in an area where it was easy to get to to even smell it, to know if I would even like it. So I wasn't just gonna pay for it and then be stuck with it. So when they asked me what fragrances I wanted to try, that was one of the first ones that I decided because their version of it from other reviews I've seen, smells exactly like it. So I was like, you know what, I need to know. One thing I love about this company is it is completely risk-free. So if you order something and you don't like it, you can send it back and get a refund. So you are not stuck with it and you're also not spending the full amount like you would if you were buying a fragrance from somewhere else. So I was able to pick two fragrances and I've been trying to get into sweeter scents because everybody talks about wanting to smell like vanilla and cake and I'm just like, I don't know if that's for me, but you never know. It might actually smell good with your body chemistry. So the first one that I asked for, theirs is called Ambery Saffron, but this is the one that is inspired by the Baccarat Rouge 540. Y'all, I love this fragrance. I love this fragrance and I was so grateful that they were willing to let me try this one. Theirs is called Ambery Saffron. It comes with this little card and the card has the notes. It says the top notes are saffron, orange, blossom, middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedar wood. And then the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. Now I know that I love amber and I know that I've been kind of liking um, scents that have cedar wood in it. So I was like, you know, I might actually be able to get into this. But I also love that I feel like this wears for a long time. I love how this smells. And I honestly think this could be a unisex scent. It is a little softer, a little sweeter, but I still think if I smell this, I think it could go either way. It could be worn as a male fragrance or a cologne and as a perfume. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is super cute, super clean and simple, but it's still like a really heavy bottle. And the silver, I love silver over gold all the time. And this just smells so good. It does say that you get to test it out. If you love the smell, once it dries down, does it blend with your chemistry? If you don't love it, return it and they will even pay for the return label. So they completely cover 100% risk free. The other fragrance that I decided to try was another one that social media hypes stuff up all the time and I get FOMO really bad. The second one is called 
Floral Marshmallow. And this is their version of Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the one that everybody said Rihanna made famous because she wore it all the time. I've never liked anything with marshmallow, ever. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to spend that money on something that expensive and then I don't even like it. But this one says the top notes are marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot, which I love bergamot. Then the middle is orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orris. So you're getting some sweet in there, but that marshmallow is the kicker. And then the base notes are amber, vanilla, and musk. So I'm like, all right, sweet with a little musk. Maybe I can get into it. I do feel like this one doesn't last quite as long as the ambery saffron, but she's sweet. She is very sweet. And when I initially spray it on me, I'm like, mm, I don't know, but something about the dry down and it's maybe where the musk comes in. I like how this smells on me. And I feel like it lingers more on my clothes than it does on my skin. So keep that in mind when you're buying the fragrance. You need to wear something for a while and let it dry down. It can take up to an hour for it to actually smell how it smells on you with your chemistry. So you spray something in the store, you think it smells good, and then you leave and you think it stinks. Or worse, in my situation, I've sprayed stuff in the store and thought it stunk, and then wore it around for an hour or two, and I'm like, oh my God, I forgot what I sprayed. It, sp it smells so good, and now I don't know what it was. So keep that in mind. I love that they have a great return policy, and they have so many different options, and they do list what the fragrance is inspired by. So if there's something you're looking for specifically, you can check it out on their website. If you haven't tried it before, I will have it linked down in the description box, so please go check it out. And I will have a discount code for you guys as well, so you can save a little bit of money. But if there's any fragrance that you've been wanting to try that you feel is too expensive and you might not like it, this is the perfect way to do it. So thank you, Dossier, Dossier, for sending this over to me. I love both the fragrances I got, and I will be ordering some more. The next thing, we'll go ahead and continue with fragrances. I told y'all this is impromptu. We ain't doing no editing or nothing because I just want to share and get this done. I decided to go to the cosmetics company store because y'all know that is one of my favorite stores and I love shopping a sale. I feel like I've smelled this before. This is the Princess by Killian perfume and I feel like I didn't like it the first time I smelled it and then for whatever reason this time in the store I liked how it smelled and I don't even have a way to be able to tell you guys the notes. This one's a little sweeter too than what I normally wear and I also feel like it doesn't last as long as like some of my other ones. So this is definitely more of like a daytime kind of, like, ooh, you smell good, but it's kind of just like, it's gonna wear off kind of scent for me. I don't think this would be like special occasion date night, but again, I was interested in this brand specifically, so I decided to pick it up and I think I paid like $35 for it. So that made it smell even better. This one says, does it say, gourmand with a kick, princess is like sipping on a green tea mocha with a fluffy marshmallow and a tip of ginger on the nose for a sassy spice. So I said it was sweet, that's the marshmallow. So if you like the other Killian that I just talked about, maybe you'll like this one too and I don't think this one costs as much. Also from the, cos well wait, do I have another fragrance? I do, more from the cosmetics company store. So, try not to make a mess, y'all. I was so excited. I found some more Tom Ford, and if y'all know me, you know how expensive it is, and I'm not paying full price for it. But, I had never seen this one before. This is the Tom Ford Santal Blush. Normally, anything with blush tends to draw me in because it means it's a warm floral. And I love Santal 33, so I was like, is this a combo of the Santal with the blush, like a warm floral? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't spray this in the store. It smells good, it lasts a long time, but this is gonna be another daytime, I wanna smell good. I do feel like it smells kinda expensive. I don't have the notes with me. I wish I could do some research. I'll put them on the screen. No, I won't, because I'm not editing. <laughs> Never mind. Look it up. I'll try to, I'll put it in the description box. I think I could do that for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just, 
I was in the mood to shop and it was on sale. So I was like, yep, Tom Ford. And I have, I think I'm gonna like it. So going to put it in the bag. The next one, y'all, this is a big daddy. Do y'all see how big this box is? Like, do you see how big this box is? Let me tell you, this is Tom Ford's Soleil Nedge. So they had the sample of this on the counter, but it was in a body spray and I sprayed it. And I was like, where is this? Where is this? Because I want it. And the guy was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just sold my last bottle of it. I was upset. Why do you still have it up here? He was like, oh, I'm sorry, I should have picked it. Literally, we just sold it 20 minutes ago. So he said, I tell you what, all I have is this. If you really like it, I'm gonna hook you up. And I was like, well, it is my birthday. So what are we talking here? Because what is the normal price? The normal price of this is $650, $650. So when he said that in my mind, I'm like, ain't nothing you can say that's gonna make me think anything is worth, there's no discount. I didn't think enough of a discount that was gonna make me wanna get this. Hold on a second so I could tell y'all. 50% off and another 20% off. So I paid a little over $200 for this big old box. When he told me that for your birthday, I got you, I would, bruh, where do I sign, swipe, whatever it is. I will put the notes down below. I think this might be my new like super date night, feel sexy, my new favorite like go-to perfume. I will keep you updated. Cause I only smelled it in the store. I haven't even opened this yet. This does not come in a bottle that you can spray. It just comes in a big bottle. Let me open it. it comes in a big bottle that you have to get an, is it an atomizer? I think that's the word. Um, an atomizer for it so that you can take some of the fragrance out and put it in a smaller bottle to be able to spray it like a perfume. Sorry about the noise. So yeah, I go ahead and show you guys. This is how the bottle comes. Isn't that sexy? Oh, I can smell it. So anyway, I have to figure out a way. Oh, there's a little condensation on it. I wonder if this spilled a little bit. There's a little bit on the side. You guys probably can't see that. But anyway, it smells freaking amazing. And so I need to get a dropper that I can use for this. But I did pick up the cutest little bottle that I'm going to put this in to spray it, and I bought this on Amazon, so I'm including this too. Y'all know my favorite color is purple, so look at how cute this is. This is so like vintage, like make you feel sexy. So I'm gonna put my perfume in here. I just have to find something to put it in there with, probably just a dropper or whatever, but yeah, I bought this for the fragrance. And I cannot wait to be able to use it. A call is coming in and I thought it stopped my recording. I was about to have a fit. So yes, this will hold my Tom Ford perfume, Soleil Neige, and I think it's perfect. So the next thing, do we have another fragrance? I think that might be it. If not, I'm not doing these in any order. I'm just pulling out the bag. So I also picked this up when I went to the outlet. I don't even think you can get this anymore anywhere else other than the outlet. This is by Lancome, and it is the Mert and Marcus After Dark Palette. Y'all, I got this because this set together, this is an eyeliner in dark brown, um, also by Lancome. This is the Grandiose Liner in dark brown. Well, it just says brown. It's not dark. It is just a regular, like I probably could put it on today and you might be able to see it, but if I had on makeup, you would not be able to. Um, but this set was $19 for both. Y'all know how I am about eyeshadow. So when I saw it, I was just like, I love that palette. I'm trying to remember, it kind of reminds me, there's an Urban Decay palette that I'm thinking of. Maybe the Smoky that I don't have, but it kind of reminds me of that. But these are the shades right here, and I feel like they look a lot darker in the pan than they are showing up right now on my camera, but there are two blue, three blues, with this green, they have a brown. This is kind of like a more maroon than it is a brown. Not really a good tra transition shade, but y'all know I use my bronzer anyway, which is fine. 
but I was just attracted to the jewel tone kind of grungy look of this palette. And again, $19 for, did I stick my nail in there? I sure did. $19 for both of those, I couldn't pass it up. The next thing that I got also from the cosmetics company store. So we all know that Becca Cosmetics went out of business and there's not a lot that Becca makes that I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so sad about that. Except for their under eye fatigue primer. I love that primer. I saw a whole bin of them and I literally shrieked. And the guy was like, girl, you scared me. What is the deal? I need this whole bin. I got talked out of buying the whole bin, but I did buy 12 because they had a sale where if you bought six of them, that you got all six of them for $15. So, the under eye primer, this, when you put it on, you can feel that it's cooling and smoothing and it is a good primer for your under eyes if you have issues with creping. I know you can't get these anymore, but if you have a cosmetics company store near you, go check, ask them if they have these because this is absolutely amazing. I bought 12 of them, I ain't even gonna lie. So I have backup on backup on backup. The next thing that I got, I'm trying to like not make a mess and have everything piled up here because I don't have my table or nothing. And I'm not playing, I'm not editing. Let me sit this down. All right, Cosmetics Company Store, this was a gift. This is the MAC Best Kept Secret Lip Kit. It says it's a neutral. This is not neutral. I don't know why it says that. This is a red set. And I'm not gonna lie, it's cute. I have used some of this stuff already. It comes in this bag, which when you open this pocket, it opens here. Then there's a pocket at the bottom that has a completely separate compartment from the other one. I don't know how they did it. Like they go on the sides of each other, but I thought that was cute. You get Brickola Lip Pencil which when I tried to pair these together, I felt like this was a little too light to wear with a red lipstick. So didn't love that, but I think it could go with a nude. But again, I would wear a brown, so I don't know that I'm gonna wear that that much. It was free, so I'm not mad about it. And then the lipstick is dark opal. I like this and I have worn it. This is the shade right here. It's looking a little lighter. These lights are so bright. Um, but I'll go ahead and swatch it. But that's the shade right there. It is a lot darker in person. I'm sorry, my, the lights I'm using are kind of washing it out. And then also this lip gloss. This is in the shade too small for me to read. Uh, I really can't read that. I will put it in the description box because I cannot see if I can figure out what it is. Maybe it's on the back. This is an amplified cream lipstick, a lip pencil. It does not say the shades. So I'll try to list it below. I can't tell what it is from looking at. Oh Lord, is this part of my age y'all? Or I don't know, somebody y'all let me know if y'all think. <laughs> Your girl is going blind. But anyway, I thought that was cute and I like this little bag. I might end up using that, but super cute little gift. Um, what else do we have in here? These are all from the cosmetics company store. Is this another perfume? It is. This is not. No, it's not. It's Tom Ford and I thought it was a small bottle of a perfume. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Glow Drops. I picked these up in the shade Glacial Rose. Always die for the packaging. Super cute, super luxe, but you twist and this top comes up. And then when you take it out, it is a like rose gold color. Oh, I want to adjust these lights, but I can't. Let's see if I can move this back here. But when you rub it in, it just gives your skin the be most beautiful glow. And when it dries down, I've been using this under my makeup, kind of like a primer. When I put my foundation on top of it, you can't really see it through the makeup. So it's not like that blinding but I like the texture of it. I do feel like it's a little smoothing. And this shade, I don't think I would ever wear something like this by itself, but I think this shade 
I don't even have highlighter on right now. And you probably can't see that that much, but I don't feel like it lifts up your makeup and it goes well with makeup. So you can mix it in, but there it's dried down. You can see the glow, absolutely beautiful. The next thing that I got, again, this is also from the cosmetics company store because they love to give you free gifts and I love them for it. I got two of the Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix. This is basically a eye serum. It says, ultra nourishing skin strengthening formula provides a 360 cushion of strength, uh -uh, of plumping support to give the eye a fresh wide open look. And it also says, how do you apply this? Does it say, why don't give you instructions? It says it significantly reduces the look of lines, wrinkles, under eye puffiness, dark circles, and uneven skin tone. And it has a specialized applicator. So the way it says it's 360, I'm wondering if you use this on your whole eye versus just using it on your under eye, but your girl has been struggling. I feel like lately my hollows here have been looking super crazy, especially in pictures, and I don't know why. So now I am like super hyper focused on under eye stuff. Even though I was already doing it before, I'm doing it even more now. I don't know if it's my age or these pictures, but I don't like it. The next thing. I was just in the store trying to get stuff, y'all, honestly, because I went to two different stores. So that's why I have all these different bags that is getting in this bag. I picked up some stuff from MAC. I picked up a pair of lashes. I had lashes that I brought with me, but they were kind of big. And I was like, you know what? These look like something I would wear. So I decided to go ahead and pick these up. Super cute, flirty, and very wispy, which is what I go for. And then also I picked up a satin lipstick. This is in Verve. I had this shade years ago. This is one of the first MAC lipsticks I ever bought. And I saw it and I was just like, yep, it is a gorgeous, like chocolatey brown shade. That's what it looks like right here. I wish my light would just like, there we go. And it's still darker than that. It is definitely more brown than it is red. So this down here is the verb and this up here is the redder shade from earlier. But this is like a perfect fall winter shade but again i'll wear what i want when i want so i'm not waiting for any special occasion to wear it if i think it'll look good and then i also picked up their love me liquid lip color i have another one of these already and i like the formula so i picked this one up in coffee and cigs i have this lipstick and i love it but i like to keep liquid lipsticks in my purse more than regular lipsticks Mainly because they're closed and sometimes I leave my lipstick bag in the car and I don't have to worry about it melting. So I love this shade. I'm not going to open it. I love this shade. I have it in a regular bullet lipstick and so I picked it up in a liquid. I also picked up two more shades of the Too Faced Melted Matte. Y'all, I have fallen in love with these again. I don't know why, but I picked up the shade Making Moves and Finesse. These do look a bit similar <laughs> now that I'm looking at them, but one is a little darker than the other. Finesse is more of a burgundy brown and it's dark, not too dark, but kinda. And then the other one's more of like a, what's the word, terracotta kind of peachy neutral. So I'll show them both to you right there. So you can see there is a difference in the color. This is Finesse and then this is Making Moves. So you can see a difference in the shades right there, but they are a lot darker than what they're showing. My lights are just super bright. So I have been into my darker lips. I know we're coming out of that season, but I've never been the type to wear super bright lip colors. So this is more right up my alley. I will do bold, colorful eyes all day. And so I just like having good neutral lipsticks to be able to pair with pretty much anything. That's it in that bag. This bag, we got some more MAC stuff. I picked up, oh yes, I can't wait to show you this. Okay, so I got one more fragrance thing I'll talk about real quick, because it's in the bottom of this bag. This is a Jo Malone Body Souffle, I think it's called. 
know why he wrapped this. I never had anybody do that before, but I guess better safe than sorry. This is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Cream. I have the perfume. I absolutely love it. And when I saw this, I was like, yep, you might as well go ahead and get it. Whoa, there was a seal on here, but there's nothing in the top. You get a good bit of product. Um, does it say how much? Almost six ounces, six fluid ounces. I love how this smells, it smells so good. So this will be one of my, like I had a spa night and I'm at home and about to get in some clean sheets and I wanna smell good. This will be on my nightstand. I ended up picking up two MAC Pro Longwear paint pots. These are in the same shade. And I picked these up because they are freaking gorgeous. This is actually the same shade, but yes, they're both gorgeous. This is in the shade Bougie. Never heard of it, never saw it before. Do you guys see this is a freaking duo chrome, but it is in a paint pot. I didn't know they make these, so I, I bought two. And this one, I just was like, hopefully I can keep it. Like, look at that. It is so pretty. It goes from like a red almost to like a greenish. I mean, I need to swatch it so you guys can see it better. Y'all know I love stuff like this. I didn't know that they make those. Look at how beautiful that is. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear this with, but I cannot wait to put it all over my eyes because I don't have, I mean, of course I have, do I have liquid? I don't know if I have liquid multi-chrome shadows. I might have one that I got from like Makeup Revolution, but all the other ones that I've gotten are in pigment form. So even still with this, look at that. With this being this color, I'm just like trying to imagine what I can pair it with. So I got two of those. Then I also picked up the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I should have got a different shade. I picked number 11 Dusk. I think I have this exact shade already. So I'm kind of kicking myself about that because it is a little dark. I was gonna wear it and then I put it on my chest and she's a little dark. It is a matte foundation, so it will be good for the summer. But again, anytime I can get time for it on sale and foundation is one of my favorite things, I'm gonna pick it up. I picked up another eye cream. This is the MAC Lightful 3C Radiant Hydration Tone Up Eye Cream. Hadn't seen this before. I don't go to Mac stores, so that's probably why, but yeah, that is what it looks like. And it, I tried it in the store, and when I rubbed it on my hand, I felt like it gave my hand a very hydrated look, and it almost kind of has like a, I don't know, kind of like this, like a little bit of a sheen, like a little bit of a glow, so I feel like it would help your under eyes not look crepey, but it's also vitamin C, so it's supposed to be brightening. So again, I'm worried about my under eyes trying something new. And then I was very surprised about this. I picked up the Studio Fix Fluid MAC Foundation. I feel like 10, 15 years ago, 15 probably is closer to it. When I first tried MAC, they did not have, I couldn't find a shade that matched me. And also now that I think about it, I think this broke me out. <laughs> And so that's why I was like, I don't care if I can't find MAC because it broke me out anyway. Crap, I forgot about that. So whatever, I ended up swatching this shade in the store. This is NC55 and I feel like this, do I have room to swatch it? I hate that their stuff doesn't come with a pump. MAC needs to get over it. Um, I feel like this shade, if I can get a little bit out without spilling it, um, is actually, can I do it without blinding y'all? A really good match for me. I have to see how it dries down, but I was pretty surprised because I don't think I've been able to find a MAC foundation that looks good on me. So that shade looks pretty good. So that's honestly why I picked it up. I hope it doesn't break me out because I've heard good things about this foundation. Um, it's supposed to be like cold favorite, staple, wears well, all that great stuff, but it says 24 hour wear, buildable with full matte coverage, oil shining control. This will be clutch for the summer. I just hope that it doesn't break me out. What do we have next? I placed an order on Makeup Forever's website because I've been wanting to try the Reboot Foundation since everybody's been talking about it and it came out. I took a risk. I loved that they gave you the option to buy the full size ones, of course, but then they also had some smaller ones. 
So I would, I wasn't sure. There were two shades that I thought could fit me. One was four neutral, four M62, which is their equivalent of Y505. And then also four R64, which is their R510. I do prefer to go with a more red undertone versus a golden or yellow undertone because I don't like how that looks on me in pictures. So I really just was like, I'm gonna get this small one because I thought that might be my shade in the neutral 62, but I'm gonna get the red one because based on what they showed on the website, I thought this was more my color and it definitely works better for me in the shade the 4 R64. So I have worn this and I freaking love it. This feels so light on the skin. It lasts all day and I just felt like it was very comfortable but it looked really flawless. And it's not often that you get something that can look like skin and flawless and not feel heavy and they killed it with this. I got it from Makeup Forever because they were having 30% off. So yeah, I would rather save that extra 10 than trying to get it from Sephora and saving 20% for the VIB sale. So this one is, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is the other shade. I do feel like it comes off a little yellow on me, but I can also mix this with something else. So definitely glad that I got both. Maybe even mixing them together will be my perfect neutral. I don't know, but that's the two shades that I picked up. I'll probably show these again in a dedicated video just for you guys to see the shades. If you're my shade twin, you can see what it looks like. I also picked up their, this is their Skin Booster Hydra Serum, Hydra Plump Serum. And it just basically is a serum you can wear under your makeup, a pro secret use to boost and revive tired skin on set. This Hydra Plumping Serum works to boost skin radiance and luminosity. Skin looks healthier, plumper, and complexion is more luminous. I really have been liking to use luminous products and glowy products under my foundation lately, just because, I don't know, like I'm not old, I don't feel old, but I'm just, I'm loving having that more youthful glow as opposed to being super matte. I still use powder to smooth everything out and to help with my pores and to help set my wrinkles, but I want my base very hydrated. So I've been loving products like this. I've been using my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I've been using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Glow little thing that they came out with. What other ones do I have? My Charlotte Tilbury, the other um, Airbrush Flawless. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All of those products, I've been all over them. Absolutely love them. And then I grabbed a few products from Ulta. Um, I also have something else that didn't come in yet. I'm kind of bummed about it. I placed an order on BoxyCharm because they had their pop-up. So I got another glowy, um, Ciate, I believe is the brand. I'll have to show that later because I don't know when it's going to come in. But from Ulta, they're having their 21 Days of Beauty right now. And I was disappointed. I didn't like a lot of stuff that they had on the website. So for sale this time, so I didn't order a lot. I guess God was talking to my pockets and told me to chill out and made sure Ulta didn't take my money. But one day they did have the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm on sale. I used this religiously. So I bought two of these, half price. And then I bought a mascara, I bought two of them. This is the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. This is their Lash Loving Volumizing Mascara. And this has a lash serum in it. My lashes have been doing so well. I love how they've been looking. And I do believe I read that this is a tubing mascara. Gentle removal for less lash loss. Soft care for lashes. Um, where did I see that at? I feel like I saw that this was a tubing mascara. Starting at the base, sweep up, apply vertical strokes. I don't know, maybe I saw it on the website, but I am pretty sure that I read that and so I bought two of them because I've been loving my Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara. I've been wearing that almost every day. I don't have much on my eyes right now and I only put one coat of it today but I am anxious to try this to see how it works and I love that it has a lash serum in it. And then I also decided to pick up the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Again, I don't, I could probably wear this by itself like during the fall and the winter, 
but come summer, your girl needs a little more matte because it will slide off my face. This one is in the shade 80 Deep, and it, I felt like it was a really good match, but this will probably be something like if you want to do a powder foundation routine, but you want a little more coverage, you can put something like this on to help with the glow and then set it with a powder if you want more coverage, or you can wear this by itself, but I've been loving you know, using stuff more multi-purpose versus just sticking to, if you're going to wear a foundation, you need to only wear a foundation or only a tinted moisturizer or whatever. So I've just been having fun playing in makeup and kind of venturing out and trying different things. I think that's it, guys. The last thing I want to talk about, and I kind of don't even want to touch it because I feel like my hands are dirty. Hold on. I want to talk about the most exciting thing. I already showed a short and you guys have been, people have watched it, apparently this is a thing, but I received as an amazing gift, my very first luxury bag. You girl got a bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Neo Alma is what I believe. I'm holding this with a mask because I have makeup on my hands and I'm not touching this thing. If my hands are not clean, it does not come to the gym with me. <laughs> like baby, investment piece. This bag is perfect. It does come with a long strap, which I love because I'm very bad at holding my purse on this arm. And it has created an imbalance in my muscles, literally, because my purse is so heavy. But when I'm out, if I want to strap on the long strap and just wear it around my shoulders, I can do that. But then also dressing up, like I feel like it's the perfect size. Don't give me a little mini bag. I don't like it. I have stuff I want to carry. Like my lipstick pouch needs to fit. My wallet needs to fit. My purse needs to fit. So this is just, if I could describe my exact bag, I love my perfect bag. This would be it. I love the accessory detail. I love that it zips. Don't give me a bag that stays open, even though I probably will leave it open. I want the option to close it. And I love that this one has the feet at the bottom so that when you put it down, you're not putting your leather right on the floor. But I mean, I saw this on the website. I've narrowed it down to three and then I saw this one in person and knew this was it. So that, check my bags, make sure. That is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this format because I'm always like editing and trying to make stuff shorter and adding transitions and whatever, but I just wanted to come talk to y'all, share some stuff. Do not forget, if you are interested in trying some different fragrances that you have not tried before, check Dossier, Dossier. I've heard it pronounced both ways, so I'm gonna say both just to make sure you know what I'm talking about. Check them out, link in the description box, coupon discount code in the description box. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. I don't have my outro, but I'm gonna stick